Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Today, I'd like to continue on our discussion on EMC consideration. Our topic for today's discussion is on multiple reflection. The earlier on video, I have focused on shielding effectiveness. As now, all of us are aware that shielding effectiveness depends on three factors. Number one, absorption. Number two, reflection. And number three, which is multiple reflection. Today, we are going to study how multiple reflection cause a degradation on the shielding effectiveness. Today, discussion will be the part 26 series. The earlier on series discussion, I have put the link under the video. I feel that it's better to go through the video in sequence so that you have a better understanding on EMC. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to help this channel by pressing the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you so much, Guy. I really appreciate your effort. Multiple reflection loss. Okay, so let's study when we need to consider this multi reflection loss. For electric field, most of the incident wave is reflected at the first boundary. Okay, as shown from this diagram, you can see that at the first boundary, most of the incident field is actually reflected at the first boundary. And only a very small percent enter the shield, okay, which means that a very small part of the wave will be able to penetrate through the first boundary. Okay, therefore, for this case, multiple reflection within the shield can be neglected for electric field. So in short, for electric field, okay, you don't need to consider this multiple reflection because most of the incident wave will be reflected very little amount will be able to penetrate through because of this, we don't foresee any multiple reflection issue here. But however, for magnetic field, okay, most of the incident wave pass into the shield at the first boundary. Okay, as you can see from here, okay, for magnetic field, okay, most of the wave will be able to penetrate through the first boundary. Okay, with a magnetic field of such a large magnitude within the shield, okay, the effect of multiple reflection inside the shield must be considered. So because on the second boundary, okay, there is a very high chance that the wave will be reflected back. And because of this, you can foresee that there will be multiple reflection. And hence, for magnetic field, okay, we need to consider the effect of multiple reflection. Next. For magnetic field, okay, when the absorption loss are small, okay, the energy reflected back into the shield at the second boundary cannot be ignored. Okay, this is true in the case of thin shield. Okay, as a result, we need to consider the effect of multiple reflection for shielding effectiveness. Okay, so this is what it means. For example, if this is a very thin shield, okay, which means that this effect of multiple reflection is a very big concern. However, if you imagine that this shield is a very thick shield, okay, because the absorption is large enough, okay, which make the signal here antennae, and because of this, okay, the effect of multiple reflection can be further neglected. Okay, so in short, okay, what we do is when the absorption loss is more than 10 dB, okay, we ignore the multiple reflection. Okay, when the absorption loss is less than 10 dB, okay, we need to consider the multiple reflection, the B term. Okay, the B term in general is about 1 or 2, maybe 2 point something dB. If the absorption loss is 10 dB, okay, I think it's good enough that we can ignore the B term. Okay, so if not, you take a close look on this diagram here. Imagine this magnetic field okay, having a high absorption loss. Okay, the magnitude of this magnetic field actually reduced by the time it penetrates through the shield. And by the time when they reach the second boundary, okay, the magnitude of this magnetic field becomes weak and hence the effect of multiple reflection can be neglected. 
Okay, in short, okay, if it's a thick shield, okay, having a absorption loss of more than 10 dB, we totally ignore the beam. However, for thin shield, okay, when the absorption loss is less than 10 dB, okay, we definitely need to consider this multi reflection effect. Okay, the correction factor for the multiple reflection of magnetic field in the shield of thickness T and skin depth is present in this equation here. Okay, you can see that this is 2T okay, because you can see that there is two times the thickness of the shield. So therefore, this 2T here. Okay, so later on, I'm going to show you an example how we can actually calculate the multiple reflection loss. Okay, the term B in the shielding effectiveness equation account for the reflection B is always negative. Okay, remember I have shared with you earlier on, B actually create a degradation of the shielding effectiveness. Therefore, B is always a negative number. Okay, so this is what you mean. It indicates that the, the reflective loss predict without include multiple reflection is too optimistic. Let's do an example okay, in order to complete this discussion on multiple reflection loss. Shield refers to a metallic enclosure that completely enclosed the electronics. Calculate the multiple reflection loss B of a 0.05 cm thick copper shield located 2.5 cm from the source of a 10 kHz magnetic field. Okay, remember for magnetic field, then we need to consider the multiple reflection loss. Okay, for electric field, we will ignore the multiple reflection loss. Okay, so let's start by doing this question here. Okay, for copper, mu R and conductivity R, they are equal to 1, and we are tasked to do at frequency of 10 kHz. This is the equation to calculate the skin depth. Okay, if you still remember, so what we need to do is this frequency is 10 kilo. Okay, mu R and conductivity R is 1. So if we punch the calculator, okay, we should get this 0 0.026 inch. Okay, we can convert it into centimeter, which is 0 0.066 centimeter. Okay, so this is the equation to calculate the multiple reflection, which I have shown it to you on the previous slide. So what we need to do is this T is the thickness of the shoe. So given by the question, which is 0 0.05 centimeter, skin depth, Okay, it's 0 0.066 centimeter. Okay, remember I told you that if the thickness of the shield is in centimeter, the skin depth also need to be in centimeter. And therefore, we compute that the multiple reflection has an effect of minus 1.82 dB. Okay, which means that the multiple reflection caused the shielding effectiveness degrade by 1.82 dB. Okay, with this, I'd like to end the discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys.